So what are Sears headings? And as a librarian, what do you need to know about them? Minnie Earl Sears had a very long career as a cataloger and a bibliographer at a variety of libraries. She is responsible for the formulation of the Sears list of subject. Her actual focus was on small libraries. She wrote a book that provided a list of subject headings that was actually in lieu of the Library of Congress subject headings. It offered guidance on how to create their own new consistent subject headings. Basically, she found the Library of Congress headings to be very scientific and she wanted it to be more common language. What she found was that in the Library of Congress subject headings, there were patterns. And these patterns she used to make a much more simplified subject vocabulary. Through her model, you could create headings as they're needed based on basic language placed in alphabetical order of overarching subject categories and hierarchical subject divisions. The headings made use of only four types of headings, topical, form, geographic, and proper names. The principles of the Sears list were published and very widely used. Later editions were linked to appropriate Dewey Decimal classification numbers. The list is currently in its 21st edition. While the Dewey Decimal System was added, there are some major fundamental differences between the Dewey classification and subject classification. Dewey classification determines locations of similar subject matters in one place, whereas subject classification collects resources in one alphabetical place in the catalog. All items on a particular subject, regardless of location, on the shelf. Example would be Maya Angelou could be found in Poems 800, Biography 900, and Novels Fiction. The four principles of topical subject headings deals with literary warrant, meaning the usage of language of an item to identify that subject, which also involves common usage, two, uniformity, three, clear and unambiguous, and four, parenthetical qualifiers when necessary for clarity. In regards to examples of topical subject headings, let's take a look at modernism. When you use modernism in regards to aesthetics, then you're dealing with art and books, and that goes in the 700s. Whereas when you say modernism as it involves theology, that means religion, and those books go in the 200th section. Form is not about content, but the actual form of the work, like intellectual form, not physical form described in ISBD. Form headings describe general arrangement of purpose of work, describes not the subject content of a work, but its form. In other words, a form heading tells us not what a work is about, but what it actually is. Example of form headings are almanacs, directories, gazetters, dictionaries, as well as names of literary forms such as fiction, poetry, drama, and essays. Principles of geographical headings involves what the book is about. A, it's the place, the subject of the book. B, physical places and political jurisdictions. And C, very important to realize, Sears does not provide all geographical entries. Instead, D, it gives you patterns and instructions on how to add necessary geographic headings. Examples of geography headings would be the United States, politics and government from the time period of 1933 to 1945. Another example, Russia, history and Russia, social life and customs. For countries, use the name of the country, United States. For states, use the name of the state, Ohio. And for cities, use city with state in parentheses, Chicago, Illinois. 
the principles of names as subjects have to do with books about someone or a corporation or a motion picture or a literary work. Sears provides instruction and patterns for adding these as correct subject headings. Examples of names of subjects would be Lincoln Abraham from the time period of 1809 through 1865, Roosevelt Franklin D. Franklin Delano from the time period of 1882 to 1945, Earhart Amelia from the time period of 1897 to 1937. I hope that this short tutorial has helped you to understand the Sears headings. In regards to my family, I know they will be happy to be able to talk again and mom's not recording any longer. Have a wonderful day, everyone.